Hello, everyone, and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an unattended Windows 11 installation media and install Windows 11 seamlessly. This process can save you a lot of time and effort, especially if you need to install Windows 11 on multiple machines. So, let's get started. Step 1, download Windows 11 ISO file, visit the official Microsoft website to download the Windows 11 ISO file. You can easily access this website by clicking the link provided in the video description below. Follow the on-screen instructions to download the ISO. Step 2, create an answer file, you can use the Windows Answer File Generator website, windowsaf.com, to create an unattended answer file for your Windows 11 installation. You can easily access this website by clicking the link provided in the video description below. Once you are on the homepage, click on the desktop tab, and then select Windows 10 or 11. Complete the required information on this page. Enter your location. Enter a product key if you have one, otherwise, leave it at the default. Enter the computer name. Select your regional settings. Keyboard, currency, time zone, and UI language. Select network location. Partition settings, if you have more than one hard disk, you can select the disk number where you want to install Windows 11. Disk 0 represents the first hard disk. Provide your username and user role. Typically, set the user role to administrator. Enter a user password if it is required. Once the answer file is generated, you can download it to your computer by clicking download file. The file name will be audionet.xml. Step 3, add the answer file to the ISO. To accomplish this, you will need an ISO image editor tool. I recommend using the free tool Anyburn. To download Anyburn, visit the website at anyburn.com, and you can find the download link in this video's description. Click on Download Page, and select 64-bit edition in Anyburn free section. After download, install it. Mm -hmm. 
After the installation is complete, open AnyBurn and choose the Edit Image File option. Select the ISO file you previously downloaded and click Next. Click on the Add button and select the Answer file. Click on Next and enter new file name. Click on Create Now. The process will begin to create a new ISO file. Step 4. Create a bootable USB drive. If you are installing using an ISO file, such as in a virtual machine, you can use this ISO file directly without creating a setup disk. Otherwise, for a physical installation, you should create installation media using a tool like Rufus, which I recommend. The download Rufus, open website rufus.ie, and you can find the download link in this video's description. Download latest version Rufus tool. Open Rufus tool. Plug in your USB drive. In the boot selection section, click select and choose the modified ISO file. Leave the other settings at their default values. Click start and if you want to install unsupported PC, make sure to enable the first option, which will bypass the unsupported PC check. Then click OK. Confirm any warnings or prompts. Step 5, Unattended Installation, insert the USB drive into your PC. And then boot from the USB drive. During the installation, you will only need to make one selection, which is choosing the addition of Windows 11 you want to install. After this election, you can sit back and relax. And there you have it, an unattended Windows 11 installation. This method can save you a lot of time when setting up multiple machines. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.